Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you guys have heard, even though there's been a lot of other news going on, there will be no level 50 cap increase, according to the community manager, Johan, uh, on the Reddit forums. He replied a big post that somebody put up and said something about a level 50 cap increase. And so that's basically not going to be a thing. I made a video a while ago talking about how I thought it made sense. And I also made another video asking you if it made sense. Now, there's a consensus within the community that something can make sense and others think it doesn't make sense. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to talk about pretty much the inevitable future of people who basically not everybody, but most people who say it doesn't make sense to actually have a level cap increase. And I'll also basically talk about, you know, some of the things that I foresee when you actually, you know, put everything together and when the game, def you know, definitely goes this direction of not increasing the level cap unless specific steps are taking or specific kinds of content are given. So this is going to be a long conversation. If you're driving or if you're doing something and listening, you know, hang in there with me. I'll try my best to actually bring it home for everybody so that we can actually see where all of this kind of parks, you know. And so let's think about it. No level cap increase. The next question you have to ask is what is the kind of content or what is the nature of the content that the developers are working on? And in the division game, we have a very uh, you know wide array of content types. Not too many, but for what the game scope is able to bring, don't talk zombie modes. Hush, this is a Tom Clancy game. It's not going to work. I know many people have said that, but it's not in the Tom Clancy universe. So maybe in another game, you know, Ubi can work on, you know, a zombie game, but not in this title. So if you think about it, we have our missions that do follow or have to follow the narrative or at least string a narrative for perhaps a future game. We have uh, incursions, which are missions that you can play over and over again. They are actually huge sources of replayable content with a lot more accessibility. Um, you also have things like survival, which is a, you know, a very nice sandbox that you can actually deal with that actually does not require for you to even use any of your existing gear. So, you know, when you kind of think about that, you look and say, okay, that might be a good option. And then we have to look at perhaps, you know, some other PVP modes that will allow for you to be able to drop in immediately and start using the gear that you have or PVP modes that also encourage a PVE aspect like in the division one we had last stand. And I know someone's going to mention underground. I think, you know, the summit tries its best to fulfill a slice of the pie that underground was. So I don't know if they're going to take the time to bring another underground. Who knows, though? They may do it for the sake of nostalgia. So when you kind of cross off the list and say, OK, if they bring new missions or new modes, how long is it going to take for us to beat a new mission or a new set of story, uh, you know, missions? I think we can check that off the box in perhaps maybe a minute or a few minutes. Or if it's a mission or a story mission that has some puzzles to solve, maybe we may go, oh, God forbid, get another kind of Kinley College type thing. So I say, let's just cross that after, you know, cross that off the list. And if you say maybe they want to bring some more seasons, some more global events and all of that, well, that's welcome, but that has to be in addition to other things so what kinds of content will allow for you to have replayability without having to increase the level cap ideally it'll be content that can allow for players to basically run those content uh, you know pieces or run those pieces without needing their gear or using their existing gear every time that they're running them in order to gain more rewards and perhaps new items that are actually put in these mission contexts. And so in my opinion, I think perhaps a raid, uh, hopefully incursions and much more importantly, a survival mode. These, in my opinion, is what I've basically been able to narrow it down, because if they go ahead and put, say, another storyline like Warlords of New York, that's impossible, in my opinion, to put together in any reasonable period of time before E3. If you guys don't necessarily see it, it seems like they're pushing towards waiting for E3 or at least having something good and having the community active and listening by E3 so that they can make an announcement. And I don't know what the announcement necessarily is, but I think Massive Ubisoft is going to have something to basically announce. Maybe an avatar game, maybe something. But I, I, you know, I guarantee you a lot of the Division community will be happy to engage with the Division type content or content from Massive if they were to announce it, depending on or you know whatever it was. And they have to really deliver something in that front. In my opinion, I think a survival mode is also very likely. 
A survival mode usually makes, you know, use of the existing uh, map, the existing aspects. It will just have to, you know, be a new design on the game mode, maybe some modifications here and there and a narrative piece that actually makes sense and something that players can engage in down the line. If they were to go bring those kinds of missions, say from Warlords of New York, players are going to pretty much, you know, plow through it in like 24, 48 hours. And we're going to get the inevitable. There's no, you know, there's no content, you know, to do and there's nothing else to do. I'm hoping that those who are, you know, excited about the fact that there is no level 50 cap understand that the inevitable reality is that you will still go back and get bored with all your awesome gear sitting in your stash on your backpack as you power down the game, having beaten all the content. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that actually brings the reality of, you know, the game is designed for you to play. When you've done everything, you put it down. <laughs> because if you think about it, a lot of people have basically said, you know, we want more stuff to do and all of this stuff. But the reality is no one can develop this amount of content that the community pretty much, you know, requires in that kind of a pace. It's almost impossible. Even if we wanted to shell out $30 every time for division style content of warlords of new york magnitude and proportions there's just no development team that really does have the capacity to do it at that frequency now maybe if massive had all 700 employees and all the other sister studios just cranking out the content maybe that's possible but still who can actually you know vouch for the quality of what that content will be and then another thing too that really does make the division somewhat uh, challenging in my opinion from a development perspective is basically just what the division thrives upon the most and that is its environmental storytelling so as you're watching this mission look inside of this room and look at the amount of detail from a design perspective that's been put in this room and has been put in this particular mission from a level design the thing about the division that makes it very interesting is its storytelling is done by the world that you're interacting with every single asset every single piece is placed in a way that actually does say something about the area and about the story you're in this is telling you that there is some sort of a takeover you know this is a level that you play with the hyenas but now in this clip that you're watching, I'm playing an invaded version of it, and you already see the Black Tusk things. So these things require a little bit of a thought process to make the missions engaging and interesting enough to provide some difficulty, some places that you can, as a player, strategically position yourself as you're going through the mission in order for you to be able to at least enjoy it. You can't just crank out a mission just because the players say they want more content. And putting a mission like that without putting any challenge in place, like a level cap increase, is going to really make it boring because all you're going to do or all we're going to do is add it to one more mission that we're not necessarily going to be playing. Let me give you guys a big question. When last did you play the mission Potomac Event Center? When last did you play the mission uh, Bank HQ if you weren't playing, say, maybe the leagues or whatever? Right. Many people haven't touched those missions in a very long time. Some of you, when last did you play Jefferson Trade Center? In fact, I have to ask you, when last did you play Coney Island missions? These were some of the most recent missions that were added to the game. And so the moment they were beaten or if you're not using them to farm targeted loot, they're pretty much just sitting there and you're not engaging in them. So if that's the mission type or if those are the content pieces that they're going to be bringing, then definitely a level increase would, would have been necessary. But now that they're not bringing a level increase, I think they're going to take the other approach, which is bringing missions like survival uh, or at least bringing missions like another raid or an incursion. So it's a really interesting scenario. And another thing, too, is, you know, I don't know if they're going to bring incursions back, uh, but if they bring another raid, a lot of people who are saying we like our gear and we enjoy our gear, that's going to be another you know challenge for a lot of them. Uh, folk like me, I, I'm fortunate to be a YouTuber, so I really get a lot of what they call YouTuber RNG and YouTuber privileges, which I have another video. There was a client that basically yanked me into their group and basically said, you got to finish this raid. And I finished the Iron Horse raid. I know I was not expecting to be Iron Horse raid ever, but these guys made it happen. So shout out to LCN. Uh, clan on ps5 we're going to be talking about that extensively in another video but i wanted to drop it here but nonetheless though we know that we're not getting a letter uh you know level increase i'm not mad i mean i have three accounts i have two on pc and one on playstation so if anybody's thinking i'm disappointed i am not because it takes a while to farm i get it i know 
So at the end of the day, I think because of this, we just have to go to come to a, an agreement and say, we're going to have to embrace whatever content that they bring that falls within the scope of allowing us to enjoy it, keeping our pre-existing gear. And I've narrowed it down. I may be off a little bit, or may, maybe they might have some really interesting ideas that we don't know about, but it'll be interesting to see down the line what they're able to bring. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Thank you very much for engaging. Peace out.